Hey guys, it's Miss Etheridge. I wanted to touch base with you on the holiday graphing tree that you were supposed to do on Tuesday. We've been looking at some of your trees and some of you know how to do it and some of you are still a little unsure and then some of you haven't attempted it yet. So I'm going to just quickly go through the graphing because we feel like that's where you're struggling. Some of you have the right idea and some of you are still a little lost. So what I want you to do is just watch this. This video won't take long. It's not very hard. Um, and then go back and make corrections on your Christmas tree. Okay. All right. So first thing, um, and Ms. Hardison even gave you some additional um, notes here because you were doing yours on the slide where you could use the lines and insert them and change the colors. And if you didn't want to do that, you can always print it out and just do it on regular graph paper. But um, we were hoping that you would at least use the colors. But regardless, we're more interested in can you draw the lines correctly. Okay. So step number one was to graph all of these lines onto this Christmas tree. They had already, you know, quadrants are all there for you. So the first one was your red line, and it said y equals 5 halves x. There's no plus or minus number, so we know that that means the line is going to go through the origin. So my first dot will be at the origin. And Ms. Hardison, I believe, did this one for you when she posted this um, assignment. And then 5 halves is your slope. And remember, we talked about slope is rise over run. So this is your vertical movement over your horizontal movement. So 5 halves. So from this point, I'm going up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going over 2. And technically, two points are enough to draw a line, but we want to be as accurate as possible, so we want to get some more points. So I'm going to do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 2. And then I'm going to back up and go this direction. So instead of going up and to the right, I'm going to go down and to the left. Because when we draw a line, anytime we have our um, coordinate plane, we want to go from one edge to the other. So that should be what your red line, which it will because that's the one Ms. Hardison drew for you, should be okay there. All right, then I'm going to the orange line that says y equals negative 2x minus 9. So minus 9, that means we start at negative 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we have negative 2x, so that means that's negative 2 over 1. So that means we're going to go down 2 and over 1. So down 2 over 1. And I don't have any more room really to go here, so I'm going to go up and to the left just so I get a good accurate line because when we come back from Christmas pretty soon we're going to be going into systems and we're going to be graphing multiple lines on one graph and we're going to need to see where they intersect so accuracy is important All right, so there's my orange line okay, and I'm going to do the yellow y equals 4 thirds x minus 9 so again there's my y-intercept Starting at the negative 9. So I'll just put another dot right on top. And it said 4 thirds x. So I'm going up 4 and over 3. Okay. And I'll even see, can't really back up, so that'll be all the line marks I do for this one. And hopefully you have a ruler or you have a straight edge. You can use the side of a book if you're actually doing them. If not, you're doing them on the Google slide. All right, and then we had our green line was y equals negative 5 thirds x. Again, no plus or minus, so we know it goes through the origin. So that's where my first dot is. And it says negative 5 thirds, so I'm going down 5 and to the right, 3. All 
and I'll even go up and to the left to get one more good point. And there's my green line. All right, then we had a light blue line that just said y equals negative 10. And we talked about that when we took notes, I believe, in our journal, um, that if there's not an x in the equation, that means there's zero x. And if there's zero slope, that is a horizontal line. So I'm just going to draw a straight uh, horizontal line at y equals negative 10. So this was negative 9, so I'm going to go one more. So there's my light blue line. All right, then we had a dark blue line that said y equals 3x plus 14. So 14 is where I start. So 14, and then 3x, so obviously I don't have room to go up 3 and over 1, so I'm going to go down and to the left, down and to the left. And I do it till I run out of tree. So this was my dark blue line. Right. Then we had purple. It said y equals x plus 8. So 8 is where we start. And it just said y equals x plus 8. So we know there's an understood 1 in front of that x. So that means my slope is 1. So I'm going up 1, over 1. Remember, it's always two moves up and over. Because we got rise over run. And then I'm going to back up find a few more points. So there's my purple line. All right, then we had pink, and it says y equals 2x plus 7. So 7 is where I start. And our slope, it said 2x, so 2 is our slope, so up 2, over 1, up 2, over 1. And then I'm going to back it up, so down and to the left. Well, I guess I could mark a few more. Then we had a gray line. It was y equals 1 fourth x. So again, no plus or minus. So we start at the origin, and we're going up 1 over 4. I don't really have a place to mark it, so I'm going to back up. And then I've got one more black, and it says negative 2x plus 9. So we start at the 9. It was there. And it was negative 2x, so I'm going down 2 and over 1. Down 2, over 1. Down 2, over 1. And I'm just going to keep going. And that is what your Christmas tree line should have looked like. Um, and like I said, some of yours did, and some of you had a few lines out of white, but you see it's a little um, kind of symmetrical there. 
it's easy to see if you don't have it right. Now, you did have, um, like, ornaments, or we said if you wanted to use clip art or whatever. If you want to make it look festive, that's fine. We're most interested in these lines and that you graph them correctly. All right, so make con corrections if you need to, and um, just resubmit, and we'll give it a look. All right, have a great Christmas, guys. Thanks.